Yeah, hey, I got an empty bottle. There are Gorons in this game! What a total ripoff. Hello there, he's logging and I have a stalker. And uh, today, we're in the past, and I've now got to show Zobo how to get the Master Sword. So what you do, you come over here, and you see there are these uh, pillars, and then you push them into place, and then this happens. So after that, that thing slides open, and then you can simply... You can try to go down there, but it won't work. So then you go down like that. Oh. Ah, I'm going to the world above without you. See you never, King of Red Lions. I'm sorry. Logan, listen well. The fact that the Master Sword lost the power to repel evil suggests to me that something has happened to the Sages, who have infused the blade with Thanos' power. The Sages should be here in Hyrule, in the Wind Temple to the north and the Earth Temple to the south, praying to Thanos. You must head... he... Head for these two temples to see what has happened to the Sages and attempt to find a way to recover the power to repel evil. Unfortunately, Ganon seems to have erected some sort of magical barrier down here in Hyrule, blocking our path to the temple. But, each temple should have another entrance high up on Hyrule's mountain dumps, which are now islands above the sea. As always, I shall mark these places on your sea chart. Now then, if we stay here much longer, we shall draw our enemy's attention to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. We must return to the surface immediately. Login, do you know the legend of the Hero of Time? I do. Once so long ago, he defeated Ganon and brought peace to the kingdom of Hyrule. Pfft, a very... Ah, uh, what's that mean? Uh, a shortening of events? Uh, an oversimplification of events, but yes. A piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, and he kept it safe. M much as Zelda kept hers. So they can... Wait, hold on. So a piece of the Triforce was given to the Hero of Time, who defeated Ganon, and then after that he was sent back in time without his consent. He maintained the Triforce as he did that, but he also left it behind and kept it safe in the adult timeline. What? And also, he managed to take it off? That sacred piece is known as the Triforce of Courage. When the Hero of Time was called to embark on another journey and left the land of Hyrule, he was separated from the elements that made him a hero. It is said that at the time, the Triforce of Courage was split into eight shards and hidden throughout the land. Even I do not where they re know where they rest, but this much I do know. They lie hidden somewhere in this great sea. The Triforce of Courage is the only key that will once again open the doorway to Hyrule. You must search for it. Gotta go there. Okay. Wait, is there an edge? Like an end to the world? Or does it just loop back? Because I imagine there's an end, but like, what's the end like? You know what, before I go in there, I'm going to figure out what the end of the world looks like. Are you thinking you wouldn't get in that cave, small fry? That one's... The one that's protected by the crazy winds on that island? <laughs> okay then. Let me just tell you a little secret. If you go five squares north and one square east from here, you'll reach Ice Ring Isle, where you'll find an item that'll make you as heavy as a stone. If you get that item, you won't have to worry about getting blown over by the winds. That's all the info I've got to offer. So it said, what, five north and west or whatever? You're a different fish, right? So 
Five squares south and one square east. Hold on, how close am I to the edge? I am right on the edge. All right. It is too dangerous to go any further in this direction. He must turn back. All right, fine. All right, he said one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, and one east. All right, I'll just reset my thing to east one. And then I'll probably go to the bottom one anyways. Made my way to an iceberg. You know what they say. Berg? Alrighty then, you know what that means. Sir, would you mind selling me a coat? No, no, no. If you wish to speak with me, I please do it in reception capture. Rules are rules. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I've been able to open my stall. But I hate to say that the poor stall is not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted. I am afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough line of products. For I am sure to be fully honest, I only have one product. To put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if only I could stock rare items people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that's what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money, it would be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes, that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out. A real go-getter. Hello. Yes, yes, master. Now I take a long look at you. I see you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, it is a bag fit for a hero of delivering. I have a small request and see the use of that bag. Request? Oh dear me, I knew a young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is rather long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. My stall is kind of a general store that makes money by obtaining rare products in inexpensive prices, and then selling them with a reasonable markup, of course. However, because I have so few products to sell, the shop remains rather deserted. I will sell anything. I am a master of the sale. I just need to get some new products. Could you not seek out a traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me? No, no, no. Do not look so frightened. I say contracts, but it is just a word. You do not have to do anything very difficult. All I need for you is to trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, a trade is proof of a contract. This is to say, it is the merchant's oath. That is what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. It is the way things work. So you, as you succeed in trading to my products, the, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything I've told you? Yes, yes, Master. You are aware of my new salesman. No, no, scratch that. Searching today, you and I are partners, dear me, yes. I give to you my proof of contract. In other words, this is my merchant's oath. Take it with you, my young partner. I got a town flower. It's a flower house from the town of Bright Smiles. Find a place to set this rather small flower. Choose your delivery bag on the items. The first thing you need to do is take this to another traveling merchant and make it for something to build on my foundation of my merchant's oath. As soon as you trade, the merchant you traded with will send his product to my shop, thereby increasing my product line, which will make me quite happy. Well, you were new trading partners. The traveling merchants are willing to... Waiting for you somewhere out there on the Great Sea. My dear, my expectations are high. No, 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 young master, I have ill news. Someone has been fiddling with my safe. I come to the shop first thing in the morning, and dear me, I see signs suggesting someone fiddled with things. Perhaps someone has been sneaking in here and I'm doing shady things. 
but I do not have any proof. Dear me, such a mystery. If only I could catch them in the act, I would scold them and, oh, what scolding I would give. Hello, young lady. Hey, you. Come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops. That won't do. That won't do at all. Already, I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um, welcome to you, sir. This way to Winterval's outdoor shop. Clock full of town, uh, fun, and happy products. So I can't get the coat from you? I was hoping to buy your coat. Well, I guess I can look for Beetle. I can't buy that. I can only buy things that fit in a spoils bag. Don't you have anything else? Alright, so that was a bust. And I'm still no closer to finding a supply of warm clothes. Hey, I got the Ear Island. There's this amazing treasure inside that freezing ring of ice over there. But even if you wanted it in wanted it and tried to get inside, you'd just be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go all four go four squares north and three squares west, you'll find the power to melt in ice, no matter how cold. Okay. Four north, three west. west of this. Hold on. Where's the sun? Hello, girl. Shh, shh. Take off. Go away. Who's there? Who's that? Who's that? Where'd she go? Who's that? Haha. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, I can't get caught. 
I can't get caught catching her. <laughs> you started... What do you want? My heart's racing. You, you scared me. Wait, are, are you... The kind of creep that goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. And who do you think you are anyway? I'm an ally of justice. Uh, what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please, let me go. It's just an impulse. That's all. It's just a bad idea. Why don't you... Why won't you say anything? Does that mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, show me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little Dubian... Du... Dubonfoli? In this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right. Every last bit of our family fortune. Gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open-air shop. So, as you can see, I'm at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiful life? I say... Work the job. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who is the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Grrr. Do you understand my plight? Yeah. Then you'll let me go? Not necessarily. But why not? Because I'm honest. That's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens the person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Exactly! Better your life. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ugh, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. Yeah! Hey, I got an empty bottle. Well, now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this mansion in order to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh, dear me, is it ever. Now it is indeed an auction, but I have to describe it in more simple terms. It is a competition of the very highest order. Ah, yes, it is a competition to see who can get the item that is being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage or the fundage? Oh, the drama! Uh, but what is this? Well, dear me, do I detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome bidders of all ages, both kids and adults. Yes, yeah, so tell me, would you like to participate in this auction? Absolutely. Really? Dear me, really? Now you are completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you. Am I correct in assuming this? I'm completely fine with that. Yes, good. That speeds things up. Very well, then. Let us begin immediately. It's no time to dawdle. The auction is afoot. On your toes, on your toes! These are my competitors. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you and be got bargain loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. The auction is about to begin, yes. And um, what do you suppose will pop up in our item of this evening? Oh dear me, I'm so excited I can't stop shuffling, stifling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. And let's get to it this evening. Our glorious auction item is this. A fabulous treasure chart. Oh, my dear, what a prize. At least the suspense is over. But the drama aside, you should know, it's extremely rare to get even a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, 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 listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Five rupees. And... Begin. Bid. Eight rupees. 
Uh, how do I increase it? Eleven rupees. Increase, increase, increase. Uh, fifteen rupees. Want a bid? The esteemed Sam, the bid is fifteen rupees. But come now, friend. I hope you won't let us stop here. Eighteen rupees. How do I bid? Not yet. How do I bid? 27 rupees. Bid, bid, bid. Bid! I, I'm i pressing the A button. Bid. How do you bid? I, I don't want to... Uh. Okay, I need the tutorial. Uh, bid, bid, bid. Bid, 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 bid. Let's go with 65. Ooh, oh dearest me, incredible. The drama, everyone struck speechless as logins bid. What? I used to be called Miss Auction. I can't lose now. Time is running out, dear friends. Sixty nine. Oh, I have to build up my courage. Hundred and twenty, hundred and six. Oh, oh, dearest me, incredible! The drama everyone stuck speechless at the long its bid. What? What is going on here? Just how filthy rich is this kid anyway? There isn't much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? Yes, yes, yes. Only five seconds remain. Yeah! And sold! Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous treasure chart goes to... Login for the price of 106 rupees. Dear me. Let me just say... Congratulations! I sure hope this is a piece of heart, not like 20 rupees. My dear, how incredible that such a youngster walked away with a prize. I've never seen such a fat wallet. That kid was bidding machine right up to the end. But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, and yes, yes, also if you're not lucky ones, let me just say, thank you for your participation. I must bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Okay, I'm either going to make back some of my money that I wasted, or I'm going to find a piece of heart. Are you ready for this? King of Red Lions? Okay, I got it. So I think this is the one I bought from the auction. But is it any good? What a total ripoff! Wait, no. He said, what was it? Three west and four up? Die, you crab. Hi. Head west from here in search of mother and child isles. Oh, hey, I got a letter. I just got a letter. I just got a letter. What are the letters? Cash on delivery. I don't have the money. How have you been, big brother? I'm here on the pirate ship writing you this letter. Isn't that neat? 
At first I was really scared, but they were actually nice. For pirates, I mean. Mr. Gonzo is a really big guy, but ever since Miss Tetra left, he's been crying like a baby. It's kind of funny, but sort of sad, too. Nudge is a little strange, but nice, too. And as for Senzak, his beard makes him look pretty mean, but he tells really cool stories when he gets in the right mood. Zuko's kind of weird, and Mako is pretty quiet. Mako immediately gets mad whenever I try to take his glasses, so I do that a lot. Hee <laughs> hee. As usual, Nikuo is always fooling around. He won't take anything seriously. Actually, he seems sad to have you around... Not to have you around anymore. Were you guys good friends? I helped him all... I helped them all out with their chores, and they actually paid me a little for it, so I'm sending the money to you. Please use it, big brother. I'll loan you my telescope for a little longer, but you have to return it to me eventually, okay? I'm doing fine here, so don't you worry. I'll take care of myself, so be sure to take good care of yourself. Good luck, Argyle. Hey! Hello there. Do you know how to get in there? Oh, it's a Goron! There are Gorons in this game! I'm what's called a traveling merchant. I'm just a poor wanderer cruising the world in search of rare objects of all sorts, new and old, strange and unsettling. Dedicated to seeing the watering, wafting from this island, that suggests to me there might be something of value here, so I sailed my tiny raft all the way from far, far away. But the high rock wall on the mountain island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to get much farther. What a disagreeable turn of events. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might well be home and to rare and unique items. If you have any curious knows that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade with them to me? Someday I'm going to open myself a shop. A huge shop. No, a mega superstore. I'm trying to find goods to sell, so can you show me where you got on you? Why, yes. Hmm, why that's a town flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading this for the sea flower? Sure. Most agreeable. Then my fee will be, yeah, that'll be 20 rupees on the dot. Thanks. That squares us. Here's your item as promised. Hold out both your hands. Ah, uh, that's just one hand login. Scent of the sea wafts from the delicate petals of this flower from an exotic far-off island. So, by trading your goods for my goods, you and I have become a merchant's oath. So from this moment forward, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. Thanks again. Okay, am I going to get paid back for this? 